Patrick? <laughs> what? Where's the door hole? It goes right there. See, I drew it with a magic marker. <laughs> you were supposed to cut it out with the power saw. Dude, I'm gonna. Oh, really? Yes. So go get the power saw. Okay, I will. I see the problem. Oh, do ya! Good morning, Ephrata. You know, a lot of people have been telling me that I'm an incredibly analytical mind and that, I, you know, I'm not very, you know, deep into, like, spirituality or anything. And to them, I'm say that that is false. And here, to prove it, I have a fortune cookie and I'll be partaking in a little bit of superstition myself, so I'm just gonna... The fortune for today, and this goes for us all, is a cautious person leaves no stones unturned. So every time you find a stone, turn it over. Until that man asks you to get out of his yard, then stop turning over his stones. My name is Edwin. And I'm Sam. Today is Monday, April 9th. Please rise for a moment of silence and a pledge to the flag. <laughs> Attention freshman class, class officers, please report to room 214 at this time. That's freshman class, class officers to room 214. Attention juniors and seniors, you are invited to attend an evening of dinner and dancing under the stars on Saturday, May 12th at the Inn at Reading. Ticket sales for the 2018 prom will be on sale this week on Tuesday and Thursday, April 10th and 12th, and the following week on Wednesday and Thursday, April 18th and 19th. Student who, students who have obligations will not be allowed to purchase a ticket. This includes any fees or obligations such as lost books, library fines, lab fees, missing forms, and time owed. Get your obligations cleared now and keep them clear so that you can make a hassle-free purchase of your prom tickets. Reminder, students will be seated uh, to tables of 10, so gather your one friend and purchase your tickets as a group. This announcement is for any student who is taking an AP exam and still owes a balance for their test fees. Please stop by the counseling office and drop off your payment ASAP as final payments are due Friday, April 13th. If you have any questions, please see Mrs. Ditzler. Now over to Gerald with the news. You know, the dishonest media, they'll say, Grr, Mondays. Oh, sorry, didn't see you there. Just thinking about uh, Jeremy Bischoff. <laughs> Hungary's right-wing prime minister won a third consecutive term in the general elections on Sunday. Viktor Orban, a self-proclaimed Eurosceptic who denounces the European Union and its economic practices, won nearly half of the entire vote in what many media outlets are referring to as an incredible landslide. His party, the Vidiz party, is expected to retain their two-thirds majority, which has been instrumental in their ability to pass any and all legislation, a feat that has made them all the more popular. Now, additionally, in Lord Hagen the Fourth news, the share prices of Russian corporations began to plummet over the weekend, and as a result of stricter U.S. sanctions on several Russian businessmen, believed to have interfered with the American 2016 presidential election. Big shocker there. More information regarding the motivation and implementation of these sanctions can be found on the U.S. State Department website. On <laughs> this day in history, Confederate General Robert E. Lee surrendered his 28,000 troops to the Union General Ulysses S. Grant. Love that guy. Effectively ending the Civil War, Lee arrived at the meeting place in full professional military dress while Grant arrived in his muddy, disgusting uh, form. Yeah, iconic. Grant told Lee that all of his men would be pardoned and were allowed to keep anything in their possession, including their horses, and Lee's men would be given Union rations. Overall, it was a uh, pretty amiable ending to one of the most brutal wars in American history. Now, back to the main couch. Kidding. Over to Young Bosnia and Sammy with the strap with the lunch. Hey, what up, Pepper High School at Young Bosnia? We got today for lunch. We got a chicken pot pie with roll slash margarine. A chicken parm sandwich. Cheese crunchers. Cranberry chicken salad wrap. Chef salad. Sweet peas. Fresh baby carrots or celery slash dip. Chilled peaches, fresh fruit. Slushy! How about sports? Good morning, Ephrata. 
I'm Gaston. And I'm the Beast. Gary! Uh, I was just looking for the sports channel, Gary. In sports resorts, tennis lost to Calico, softball lost Friday to CV, and lost Sunday to Twin Valley. Girls lacrosse lost Friday against E-Town, but won Saturday against Conrad Weiser. Boys lacrosse won against won on Friday versus E-Town, and also won against Conrad Weiser on Saturday. And baseball won on Friday against CV. Today in sports, baseball is at Solenko. Boys lacrosse is home versus Twin Valley. Track and field is away at LS. Girls lacrosse is away at Twin Valley, and softball is home versus Solenko. Now back over to the main couch. Attention students of Ephrata High School, if you are interested in running for student council, please step down to Mr. Marzok's room and pick up your petition. Only six members are selected to become representatives of student council per grade to represent our student body. And since you represent our school and student body, we will need to hold elections to the, for those positions. To qualify, you will need to stop down and pick up your petition from Mr. Marzok in room 137. You will need to collect 25 signatures from students in your grade only on your petition will be voided. Next, you will need to ask a teacher or administrator at the high school for a recommendation, basically saying that you would be a great leader, a hard worker, and would represent our school well. But you can't ask Mr. Marzok, Mrs. Eshelman, or Senior Cerullo because they are the student council advisors. Don't even talk to them. Like, don't say hello to them in the hallway today. Just don't. Elections will be held on Friday, April 20th. So stop down to see Mr. Marzok and get your petitions and teacher recommendations turned in by Friday, April 13th. Howdy, effort of high schoolers. If you want to have a darn to and good promposal for someone special, why not do it on this here, Effort I Am? If you want to do your promposal on air next week, please contact any cast member in person or throughout social media. But be fast, it's a first come, first serve basis, and the slots are already filling up. We at Effort at AM need to apologize for missing an important announcement on Friday. No, we don't. Even if you weren't able to make it to the District Art Show opening on Friday, it's still open until May 9th. That's it for us today, Effort at. <laughs> we can't wait for Mr. Bischoff to take photos at our weddings. <laughs> yeah! We really can't at all. It's just still going. Hip, hip.